Ever wondered how your email service distinguishes between spam and legitimate emails? The mysterious hero behind this task might be a machine learning algorithm known as the Bernoulli Naive Bayes. Bernoulli Naive Bayes, a variant of the Naive Bayes classifier, plays a pivotal role in machine learning, especially in text classification problems. The algorithm is naive because it makes the assumption that the presence or absence of a particular feature of a class is unrelated to the presence or absence of any other feature. Now imagine a bag of marbles. Each marble represents a feature, a characteristic or condition that can help in the classification. The Bernoulli Naive Bayes classifier assumes that each of these marbles or features is independent of the others. This is like saying the color of one marble in the bag doesn't affect the color of any other marble in the bag. The Bernoulli part of the name is derived from Bernoulli distribution in statistics. A Bernoulli distribution has exactly two possible outcomes, often labeled success or failure. In the context of our email spam filter, a success could be correctly identifying a spam email and a failure could be incorrectly labeling a legitimate email as spam. The Bernoulli Naive Bayes classifier takes into account whether or not a particular word occurs in a document to classify it. For example, in a spam detection filter, certain words might be good indicators of spam like lottery, prize, million and so forth. The algorithm considers the presence or absence of such words in an email to decide whether it's spam. However, unlike its counterpart, the multinomial Naive Bayes, which considers the frequency of words, the Bernoulli Naive Bayes only cares whether the words appear, not how many times. So if the word prize appears 10 times or just once, it makes no difference to this algorithm. It's a classic case of quality over quantity. To summarize, the Bernoulli Naive Bayes algorithm is a powerful tool in machine learning, particularly in text classification problems like spam detection. It operates under the assumption that each feature is independent of the others, hence the naive in its name. The Bernoulli part comes from the way it uses the Bernoulli distribution, considering only the presence or absence of words, not their frequency. So, the next time your email service successfully filters out a spam email, remember, it might be the work of the unsung hero, the Bernoulli Naive Bayes algorithm, working tirelessly behind the scenes.